And now, it's time for three... Touchdown, Patriots! Two big throws on this drive by Mac Jones, your quarterback. What a throw on the skinny. I'll take more of this, please. Three down. Put a jacket on him. He don't want to be out here. Sit him down. With Greg Bedard from BostonSportsJournal.com. Three up. I know you're very results-oriented. I get that. Three down. It's a fail all around. Fail, fail, fail. On Belger and Mass on 98.5, the Sports Hub. Yes, it is indeed time for Three Up, Three Down with Greg Bedard, presented by Tullamore Dew Irish Whiskey. Enjoy the game with the original triple distilled, triple blended, and triple cast matured Tullamore Dew Irish Whiskey. Because when it's game time, it's Tully time. Please drink responsibly. Let's get it. Three Up, Three Down. So I'll just give you my Three Up. Uh, I think Sharon's going to uh, take part. Okay. So, um, Christian Barmore, outstanding. You know, we talked about him earlier, the three sacks. He's dominating against the run as well. He's doing a really nice job. Demario Douglas was my second up. And, look, he had the third down drop, I understand. But um, his ability to sort of play slot, and he played slot more in this game than he has before, uh, to really win his one-on-one matchups, uh, that was a big key for the offense in this game. And... So to see him do that, that was very promising. I thought one of the reasons why the Patriots were able to be as successful as they were on offense was because Vance Joseph was way too aggressive. He got into way too much man coverage, which allowed Bailey Zappi to – it made him uh, – it defined his reads pretty clearly. He'd throw up 50-50 balls. Bailey loves to do that, and that sort of played into his bag of trips. And then uh, third up was Zappi. I didn't think he was that good in the first half. Um, but the second half, I thought he was outstanding given the opportunities. He made plays to to win this game in the second half. Uh, you know, big plays to, you know, Demario Douglas was a 50-50 ball. He had another, I, I thought, another uh, really nice pass to Douglas. Um, Devontae Parker, the 30-yarder. The Gesicki play was probably his best play of the game. Might be his best play of the season for him to uh, throw that in the on the on the back line. So, you know, Bailey did a really nice job in this game for the most part. Yeah, I'm going to go I up, of course, Barmore on the line. Christian Barmore was fantastic. He was a game wrecker in that game, like, um, excuse me, the other night. I mean, I think he was able to, because of him, they was able to contain a little better on Russell Wilson, who, like you mentioned earlier, he doesn't have the wheels like he used to. I think old Russell Wilson, he's probably still running right now on some of those plays, <laughs> but <laughs> they was able to get control of him. I thought he was big. I got to give Devontae Parker some love. I think he made some Fair. key catches. Mm-hmm. It, well, he, he didn't have a lot of production, but, I mean, he had four catches, 60-plus yards, 16 yards a catch, but I think they were key. He made a lot of key plays in that game that, you know, he not saying he's a go-to guy for Bailey Zappi, but Zappi looks for him for the big plays and in key situations, and he's delivering. This is not the same guy that was doing that uh, that Harlem Shake route running he was doing against the, <laughs> against, the, against, the, against Vegas early on, where they're like, what are, you, what, are, what are we doing out here? But I think he played well, and I also got to give Zeke Elliott some love. I mean, he didn't have a lot on the ground, mm-hmm. but I think he was key again on key downs, moving the change, getting the ball move. I mean, the, <laughs> we were talking off air about the Rich Rich Eisen just, oh, just losing his mind over Bailey Zappi. And it was like, well, look at that pass to Zeke Elliott. It's like you just left out the fact that Zeke hurly, hurdled a guy <laughs> and took it in for a touchdown, but we, we, you know, we're going to give him a pass on that one. But – I'm going to give Zeke a lot of love on that. So, I'm a, I got Zeke, Barmore, and, uh, and Parker as my, my three up in that game. Three down for me, uh, Antonio Maffi. I thought he was terrible in this game. Gave up four pressures, two penalties. Uh, Jawan Bentley, not one of his best games. Missed four tackles. Uh, I don't know if it was altitude or what, but he had a lot of difficulties in this game. And then I'm also putting Chad Ryland in, in my bottom three. I mean, yes, he made yep. the final kick <laughs> when, so you know, nobody <laughs> – if he would have missed it, people would have been like, well, it's 56 yards. But they shouldn't. the Patriots shouldn't have been in that position if he would have done his job earlier. So, uh, Ryland is my third down. I'm surprised you didn't say you're kind of sick of him, too, with his uh, post-game stuff. And, uh, you know. Oh, my God. I didn't <laughs> think he was ever going to get off the podium after that game. <laughs> Seriously. They, they need to uh, bring back media training for their young players oh down there. Oh, my God. <laughs> 